I saw Dulce Candy do a video on how to make a nail polish rack and she didn't really give clear instructions like how to nail it or what kind of wood she used. So I just wanted to make a video with clear instructions and I hope you enjoy it. To make this nail polish rack, it's going to take at the most two days to make it, but if you dedicate an entire day, you can actually finish it in one day. The wood I got is called oak plywood, and you can go to any home improvement store like Lowe's or Home Depot, and they'll actually cut the wood for you. And I'll have the list of measurements that you're going to need in the description box. So when you're going to go buy your wood, you just write down the measurements on a piece of paper and you give them, you give the woodcutter person, the woodcutter person, the, the paper and they'll cut the wood for you. I want to say thank you to Yazir for cutting my wood so well. He did a great job and he works at Lowell's. The total cost to make this rack is about $35. So it really isn't that expensive compared to actually buying one at the store. So you're actually saving a lot of money here. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more DIYs. Let me know if you have any video requests and I would love to do them for you. You're gonna need your wood pieces and I'll have the measurements in the description box. You're going to start by sanding all the wood pieces until it's smooth. In a well-ventilated area, you're going to spray paint the primer on all your wood pieces. I had to go in my garage because it was too windy and it was blowing the spray paint away. Allow each coat to dry if you're doing more than one. Don't forget to spray the edges. After the primer has dried, then you could spray paint your colored paint. Now you're going to get the back board piece and measure 4 inches every line. These lines are the markings where you're going to place your shells. Now you're going to get one of the two long pieces and glue it to the side of the backboard. You want to have your glue sticks ready and work very fast or else the glue will dry and won't stick well to the wood. Now glue your shells following the lines. You want to make sure the edge of the side piece lines up with the edge of the shelves. Now that you've glued all your shelves, you want to use Gorilla Glue to reinforce every edge. After the glue is dried, you could spray paint the glue. To hang up the rack, you're going to need the following items. You want to start by using the stud finder and marking your points with the pencil. This step is very important to do because if you don't nail it correctly, you can break down the weak part of your wall. Thank you, Lodens, for letting me use your stud finder. You're gonna need a friend to hold the rack for you while you level it correctly and nail it to the wall. After you hammered it in for a little bit, you wanna use a screwdriver to screw it in. I placed two more nails at the bottom of the rack as well. And now 
now you're done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.